The engine of the Industrial Revolution, Cornwall and West Devon mining landscape. This is a town in Cornwall in the United Kingdom. A statue of Richard Trevithick stands here. This man played a leading role during the Industrial Revolution in Britain. Copper and tin mining was a major industry in Cornwall and West Devon in southwestern England during the 18th and 19th centuries. The disused remains of this mining landscape are inscribed as a World Heritage Site. This photograph was taken during the height of production. A countless number of chimneys and buildings known as engine houses were built next to each other. These facilities harnessed high-pressure steam to power heavy machinery. Some engine houses are well preserved. This high-pressure steam boiler was invented by Richard Trevithick. The steam engine itself had already been invented at the time. However, it was a large, complicated device and not really practical. Richard Trevithick invented a smaller but more powerful engine that could produce steam up to ten times the pressure of other engines. With a more powerful engine, it became possible to drill and mine deeper underground. As a result, production output increased rapidly and the mines produced nearly two-thirds of the world's entire copper output. The invention in itself was an industrial revolution. Miners were carried down the pits in steam-powered lifts. The engines also pumped out vast amounts of underground water to enable miners to mine deeper. The engines were also used to power mining drills. This drill was invented by Nicholas Holman, a friend of Trafethick. George Stevenson is widely known for his achievements with steam-powered railway engines, but it was actually Trafethick who invented the steam locomotive. The British government built a large statue of Trafethick to honour his achievements. Trafethick's high-pressure steam engines powered the Industrial Revolution, and this desolate industrial landscape is an important testimony to that significant period of human history.